Let's ask you about the question of nationalism. The president described himself as a nationalist recently. He was attacked by the leader of France for doing that. You recently published a Wall Street Journal op-ed defending the idea of nationalism. Yeah. Why is nationalism a necessary concept in modern America? Well, American nationalism. Of course. What is our identity? Our identity is not a common race, ethnicity. Right. Uh, in fact, America is a de facto rejection of that. It is fundamentally premised on this notion. We are all children of God. We are born with God. We are all created equal by our Creator, and we are given equal rights to life, liberty, and to pursue happiness. That is our national identity. It is deeply rooted in morals and in values. It, in fact, explains everything this nation is done internationally and domestically. We should be proud of that identity. We should defend that national yes. identity. Number two, I think most of the viewers watching this program would be shocked to think that my job is to represent Belgium or my job is to represent, I don't have nothing, I have nothing against Belgium. I always pick on Belgium or Luxembourg. <laughs> they have their own system of government. That doesn't mean I need to be hostile towards them. Right. And it may be in our national interest to work with them. I think NATO was in our national interest and is. I think a lot of our alliances are built on that. And in fact, our national, our, our national, uh, our national identity as a nation that believes in the equality of all people is what has caused us to defend democracy and feed right. hungry people all over the world. We should be proud of that. But as a government leader, my fundamental obligation, first and foremost, is to work on behalf of the American people. And most of the time, if not all the time, we can do that without hurting other people around the world. It's hard to know what the argument against what you just said might be. Why would people well, <laughs> object? No, I sincerely, because it's yeah. important to understand what what the objections are. What do you think they could be? Well, there are two. One is they ascribe to nationalism, sort of the nationalism of the Nazis or somebody else. That's ethnic and racial nationalism. I'm not talking about ethnic nationalism. Of course not. I'm talking about a national identity that actually is completely relevant to your ethnicity. In fact, you don't even have to be born here. If you come here legally, you can be a U.S. citizen. It's one of the great things about America. Some of the people who love America are the most are the people who are Americans by choice. They, yes. Because they know what life is like in another country. Then there's another school of thought that, no, we are are citizens of the international community and we have obligations to the rest of the world which I would agree within the confines of our national interest in fact I've always argued that the best thing for the world is a strong and prosperous America because our values infuse our decision-making and, um, and and so much of what we do so there are people that actually I think that's what Macron was arguing and that is that France's obligations under him anyways are not just for the to the French people but to the sort of amorphous international community which I'm not against I've defended international organizations so long as they are in the national interest of the United States. Because that's the country you represent. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I swore an, uh, an allegiance to the oath, uh, I swore an oath to the Constitution of the United States. I work for the American people, and I believe I can do so while still being strong allies of Japan, strong allies of Great, Great Britain, strong of allies of our countries around, all these countries around the world especially when our interests intersect. I think this is a vital conversation, and I'm glad that we're having it, and, and I'm glad you're Thank you. articulating it so clearly. Thank you, Senator. Thank you for having me. Well, there's a battle over free speech going on in Washington right now. Good. We're for free speech. The question is, are the people who claim they're defending free speech actually defenders of speech? Hashtag BASTA, whatever that means. Well, anyway, we'll investigate the assault on free speech after the break.